Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Rintalian, and welcome back to Christmas Stories. Enchanted Express, this is Act 10, when we last left off, we were in the middle of making these plates so we, were, so we could fix the lock. Rum. Okay, so... That's how I'm gonna do it. Does his lock break so often that he needs a machine on hand specifically made to make the plates? Actually, given what happened to that gate out back, that makes sense. How you knew what order they went oh well inside you go hello there i wasn't expecting guests don't be afraid I i'm a good cat just a little too big who are you what are you doing here i need to give him the king's order so he'll trust and help me i'm sorry for all the trouble i've caused well, if the king wants me to fix everything, I'll give it all I've got. But it won't be easy to collect the stars. First, we'll need a special bag made of a magical thread. I wonder how you know this. The only thing, as you had admitted yourself, the only thing that differs you from a regular cat is your size. Here, take this magical spindle and collect the thread from the river deep of the forest. If you bring me the thread, I'll weave a magical bag. Okay. A magic spindle for threads from a magical stream. This case is certainly unusual. Kind of funny considering the actual Sherlock Holmes did not believe in magic. Or anything of the ilk. A sharp tool wouldn't hurt. Don't have one. This garden needs fertilizer. Okay, I think we're good for now. Yeah. Okay, there's something I can do here. Oh, wait. Right there! Oh, so that's what you were for. I was wondering. The magic stream is somewhere nearby. That's where the spindle is. Ooh, I got all the morphing objects. Nice. I think I need a special bag to collect this heavenly treasure. I banish this hair, maybe with some treat. Oh, was that the last picture? The puzzle piece? The last puzzle piece. I think so. Nice. Anyway, what are you hiding? Ah, the fertilizer I needed. Oh wait, wrong direction.
Oh, I got you right, right away. All that for a carrot. Okie doke. <laughs> Let's go feed the bunny! I'm Enchanted River. I might try to do magic with the spindle here. Okie dokie! Dr. Squirrel could cross, but he doesn't have a boat. Wonderful. I'll weave a magical bag with this thread. Once the bag is ready, you can put all the stars in it. Then, I'll hang them back in the sky. Oh, cute! Great, I can put all the stars into Tom's bag. Let's use some quick travel for the last little bit. And last batch. We make a good team, Mr. Catlock. The bag is full of stars, but it's weightless. Let's go find a tall tower and bring these stars back home. Okay, no problem. Let's go. Cool. Wait one sec. The bag is cute. So I took a screenshot. I must find the highest point I can so the giant will reach the sky. Then I'll summon him. Yes, back in his house. He had that one cupboard. You really forgot about this. There you go. I would have at least tried to save the boat. I'm not quite sure what we're doing. Uh, I think we're going to be making a ladder of some sort. Hope no one minds us tearing up these signs. find nails. Oh, oh! Wow. We've been waiting for a while for that. For a box of nails that we really did need, but the same breath. A lot of effort just for a box of nails. Perch, I can touch this guy standing standing on it. And I can take that hint.
How do you destroy a house? I mean, yeah, you're big, but you're not that big. Ah, one of these. Your Okay, you're having a problem now. doesn't help me. Literally has to go that way. Now you're up the up the creek without a paddle. Oh, oh! Progress has been made. Okay, and now we're at where Problems again. Ooh, I got it, I got it. Because of Tom, the stars begin to shine in the sky once again. Everyone praised Giant Tom. He was just happy to make some new friends. And so, this is the end. 
Ever since, Cat's Town and Giant Town have lived in peace. I love stories with happy endings, don't you? Especially on such a magical Christmas night. Nice, and that was the bonus game. Hope you had fun, that was great. But can't forget the bonus content, because I think we got everything. Here's wallpapers. You know, going back to this, is that a cake you would like to eat? Does that look appetizing to you? I, I, I'd be uncertain, personally. Though that's pretty typical for me, because when you have, like, the really elaborate decorations, even if they're edible ones, I'm not usually all that excited. But it does look good, so I'd probably try it. When it comes to food, I, I usually find symbols better. But that's a personal preference on my part. Ah, achievements. Oh, look at the fluffy! Ah, that's the one I never get. And you are... Secret room! Oh, there's a secret room! Well, here's the concept art. Buddy was a jerk. And a creep as well. I thought for sure initially that he was just there to teach certain individuals a lesson kind of deal, but no, he's, he's being really creepy about it. Okay, let's go over to the secret room. Ah, uh, this- oh, this style of game. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this style of game. Got it. Okay, where- oh, there you are. I'm gonna have to... How do I get out of here? That's gonna have to wait till next time, because this is Curtain Call! If you enjoyed the show, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to notify when I upload a new video. Until then, that's it for me. Bye-bye!